Hello everybody. Um, so, I had a thought for a video and me and Dan, he's there, come and say hello. Hi. What a surprise, I'm with Dan. Um, we went out yesterday. Oh, that, was, that was 30 kilos, how did I just lift that up? And we bought this old ammo crate from Antique Shop for like 15 quid, an old cigar tin and this old leather pouch which now has my cigars in because they fit perfectly. And we were like, let's take some photos of it. So I had a big brain moment and I thought, why not do a video showing how different me and Dan shoot the exact same product? Because this is my kind of thing. So- And I shoot extremely clean. Yeah, so Dan I'm... is Mr. Clean and I'm like, put all of the grain Gritty. in there. Grain to 70. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot this crate, we're gonna shoot knives, watches, boots, all that kind of shit. Um, we're gonna shoot three photos each. We're gonna do two individually and edit them in our own styles, obviously, so they're completely different. And then we're gonna do one photo that's the exact same photo, but we're both gonna edit it individually to show how different one photo can look being edited by two different people. So, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're gonna do that now. I'm gonna have a great time. Because look at all this rust. Like great my, time too, shut my up. <laughs> finger is now orange, so I'm gonna love it. Um, yeah, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> it probably has COVID. And we're gonna have a great time. So let's do it. Let's go and oh, have some fun. God, this thing weighs a ton. How do? You... Oh yeah, and we took the lid off it, and we can't get it back on because it's also rusty. So Sorry. <laughs> Dan nearly took his finger off of it, but I mean, I love it. Yippee! Bye! <laughs> it's a bit dirty. Oh, it's alright, we got the hoover. It's a bit dirty. So, what's your idea? What? Talk me through it. So I'm trying to get a bit of compression in the shot. So I'm trying to basically sit over there with that camera, have it on a very high aperture, 1.4. Is that, is that high? high or low? Is that low? I wide open. Just a wide open. Aperture. Wide open. Mm. Just how you like it. Um, and then kind of have it small in the shot because uh, me, everything's clean. So all the attention is on this, on the knife. But um, yeah. So uh, you just having the knife in the shot then? I think. Uh, I mean, we've got a few extra props like on on the sofa over there. But um, I'll start with with this, and then we'll just see how it goes. This could look quite good. Oh, I think it will. Vanessa. So, Ted Howes, any plans? What? Yeah, what have we got? I'm gonna go get a knife from upstairs, a different one to this one. Of course you are. I don't wanna shoot this one, I just wanna shoot a different one. And loads of other cool shit. Um. side and choose between the two as to which one is going to be the nicest okay but uh, Ooh, have a look at that I feel like Dan can you go and sit with your legs open on that side oh, of course <laughs> <laughs> this side also looks very nice all I'm going to do is drop cam Dan's camera on the floor oh god that is mine cheers for that it's just move that chain around there I know this is going to look sick. Cool, shot number one done. Okay, so now we're going to work on the shot that we're going to edit 
together. Well, no, we're gonna, not going to edit together, but it's the same photo that we're going to edit. Words. Going to work on that. Yeah, words. Very good. Going to work on that, shoot that, and then we're going to get to edit in. But this is great. Are you, how do you feel about it so far? Good. You're enjoying it? Yeah. Enjoying the dirt? Yeah. He likes the dirt. Yeah. I think Dan hates life. I'm I don't know why, because it's so much fun. <laughs> I'm just tired now. You've done nothing. What do you mean I've done nothing? You bitch. Nibble, nibble. We've got all the photos now, so we're going to get to editing. And then we'll come back, put the photos on the screen. And discuss something. I don't know what, but we'll do something. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong kind of sofa for that. Welcome back. As you can see, we're in a completely different set. We're in an Airbnb because we're now in Snowdonia for a big week. project. <laughs> yeah, for a week on a big project with our mate Keith. Me and Dad have both edited our photos now. Yes, we have. We've gone through. They look fucking sick. They do look And we're just going to compare. I've got some moustache in my mouth. We're just going to compare my edits and my photos, everything about them, to. Dan's edits and Dan's photos. So have you got your first one up? Because I haven't. I do. Yeah, I don't even, which one was my first one? Oh, it was this one. So photos on the screen now. Talk about your first photo first. What, what made you do that? What made me do that? Um, Cause this isn't your thing. It's not my thing, no. Um, I'm all about like having it as clean as possible. So yeah, uh, this shot at the end is not how I had it in camera. So I had to take three shots because of the, um, of the space on either side. Oh yeah, you, Added, yeah, so, so yeah, smart, yeah, because um, I do quite a bit of editing, you, yeah. I mean, I, mean, I think that's I, one thing Dan goes ham, I go on ham, Photoshop on the edit. <laughs> spends ages on edits, and I'm just like, ah, oh, preset, grain, Photoshop, grain overlay, <laughs> done, done. That's pretty much my thing. So Dan's image compared to my image, yeah. as you can see, is completely different. Completely different. So my one was a whole load of shit. So like the main focus of the image is still the knife, obviously, mm. but you got loads of other like focus points that you can go to in the image that aren't necessarily in focus, but they're there and they just add to mm. it. So like the things that are in focus are my knife, the majority of it, because I was shooting at like F2. And then the leather pouch that it's on, parts of that are in focus as well, which just add like an extra pop. And then on the left side of the image, you can see where that bottle was. And that's just adding like, a blur, mm. essentially, and like a little bit of like a bit a lighter pop, yeah, in a way, because the rest of it's quite dark. And then there's just things like my belt buckle and then the chain on my necklace, just adding like extra detail. lighter detail, should lighter say. Detail. Picture number two. You did a knife again. Okay. I decided to focus on a watch this time, but they are very similar compositions. However. I've gone for quite a cold edit, and he's gone for, it for a, a quite a hot one, which is quite is quite standard with all of our stuff. It's yeah, like, Dan go, tends to. You I go quite cold. It's one thing I always shout at Dan for when we're shooting a project. It's like Dan, sort your white balance out because it's too cold. I like the cold. Me and Dan have got very similar tones in our images. It's something we always say. We just have different tints, different temperatures, and slightly different colours when it yeah. comes to things. Um, so this, it was the same composition pretty much. Dan was just, again, putting the knife as the subject, really focusing on that subject, keeping it really clean. Whereas I put a dirty tin inside it, put a zippo inside the tin, and then put my watch on top of the zippo, and then had a cigar next to it just for a bit of extra depth again. And other than that, we had pretty much the same thing because you, in the bottom right of your image, you've got yeah. that little leather pouch. Yeah. Mine's in the top right of yeah, mine. Yeah. But other than that, they are reasonably similar, yeah. but it just shows like how my style differs to Dan's in that situation because I was like, oh, I'm going to do this, 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 and this. And Dan was like, I'm just going to keep it clean again mm. because that's just how he edits. Right, the last photo. Last photo. That's pro that was probably the hardest one to edit. I really struggled with it. Yeah. Not going to lie. Because of the light, obviously you saw in the time lapse of us setting it up, I had like my little loom cube light and I put it inside mm. the ammo crate to make it look like the torch I was holding actually worked. But we had this loom cube light on like 1% and it was still too harsh to be able to get any details in the watch. So as you can see in the photos, 
Dan's brought his highlights down quite far to bring the detail back into the watch. Yeah. Whereas I've brought my I've kept my highlights quite high because personally I don't like it when a watch looks like that with like the highlights all the way down. Like right. it's a little bit dirty. I know that's weird coming from me because I like dirty photos. But it does show how different. Like you brought like you can even see my tattoo on my thumb there. On mine you cannot see I it mean, at all. I've added so many like like I Did I've... you add loads of masks to yeah. it? Yeah. I did Tons of masks. I added two. Well, I I added one over the actual inside of the box, and I brought it to the blue side on the because if if I took it off, it would be too hot for me. So I literally added one over the top and brought it to the blue side. Oh, nuts! Like quite a bit. I literally put a preset <laughs> on it. Yeah. Did a select subject mask in Lightroom, and then just popped out a bit. So <laughs> that's that. I don't know if you got anything from this video, to be honest. It just kind of shows that even if you have got different styles, it's still still possible to actually shoot good products, photos, or photos in general in the same environment as someone that has the different styles to you. So that is completely my thing. I'd love to do that day in, day out. Mm. But Dan doesn't enjoy that kind of thing as much, but he still managed to get sick photos from it in his yeah. style because he knows what he's doing. So it kind of shows that if you know what you're doing and you have your style set and you know what you like to shoot, you can still shoot a good photo no matter what you're doing. If that makes sense? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I think. And I don't think I need to say anything else. So if you did like it, do all the shit. This button here and then this one here, that could be the dislike, it could be the like, <laughs> take your pick. And then make a comment. What's your favourite thing to take photos of? Yeah. Enjoy it. Go back to the beginning and watch it again because then I've got more view time and click through, right? <laughs> That'll be fun, wouldn't it? I'm going now because we've got to get out of this Airbnb. <laughs> See you later.